The University of Ottawa is being accused of turning a blind eye to harassment, discrimination and intimidation of students who work as teaching and research assistants. Today, two students stepped forward claiming they were punished for complaining. Simon Gardner reports. Along with completing their studies, many students at the University of Ottawa also work as teaching or research assistants. Today, two of them came forward claiming they've been ostracized and punished for refusing to keep quiet about academic problems. Sheila Roxburgh, PhD student and teaching assistant, says she was fired after giving failing grades for work that was full of errors. Um, I failed 80% of the midterms, and the midterms were regraded by the prof, who told me that I didn't know what I was talking about, and that I had to lower my expectations because students at the University of Ottawa are just subpar. Joseph Roy, a PhD student from Texas and research assistant, claims he was sidelined because his professor suspected he suffers from a disability, dyslexia. I'm currently involved in a union grievance and a human rights complaint against the university and my former supervisor. This news conference was organized by CUPE, the union representing student workers at the university. Union staff claim these complaints are just the tip of the iceberg. It's not just about the people we're talking about today, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it okay for everybody on campus to speak out about the harassment that they face. A senior communications staff person from the university attended the news conference, but when it was over, they decided not to respond to the allegations on camera. However, later in the afternoon, the university sent a written statement saying it can't comment on individual cases, but that any complaints of harassment or discrimination are treated seriously and are investigated and addressed. Simon Gardner, CBC News, Ottawa.